Guys, welcome back to a new video. And today we are doing episode 9 of the West Brom career mode, I believe. Yeah, we are on episode 9. We are on episode 9. Sorry about that. And this is obviously the season finale of the West Brom career mode. Huge episode because obviously, as I showed you guys in the last episode, we are only one point ahead of Sheffield United at the top of the table so every game remaining is huge we've obviously got two episodes left uh, not two episodes two games left of this season um, and we started off well lovely build up players start from Johnston uh, and it went all the way up to Furlong who found the back of the net nine minutes in to give us an early lead it would be a crucial lead we needed to win uh, we had the opportunity of us to win the league in this game they went and hit the crossbar uh, only 18 minutes in but we quickly responded with Dian Garner with a good run going forward here it went an amazing run and hit the crossbar both teams hit the crossbar within the space of less than a minute uh, and a good shot here from Reading but it was saved here was Mowat bringing the ball forward here uh, but a good save from the Reading goalkeeper and Junior Hoyler former Cardiff winger who obviously played in the Premier League with Neil Warnock uh, and Cardiff on the back of the net just before half time bit of a sucker punch because I thought we were actually playing well in that game a shame that we went and conceded then Robinson, who scuffed a shot there, should have done better as half time. Yeah, I thought we were the dominant side. I thought we were the better side just, but it was still very, very tight. And it was anyone's game. Another effort here by Mauer saved. Tell you what, the Reading goalkeeper had a worldie in this game because we had a th over 10 shots, I believe. We were just harrowing them with shots, but we could not find the back of the net. So I thought I would bring in some players. Uh, moved Grant to the wing. Uh, took off Robinson for Scarlett. Um, Dion Garner for Phillips. And Livermore, who's Should looking at the end of the season, for Gavi. Again, Scarlett fell into the away. back of the net. Livermore here with a really good run. Hitting the crossbar um, for the second time in this match. Livermore going really close there. Uh, another opportunity here for Reading, and I, I had a heart, almost had a heart attack here because it was a late chance. I thought we'd lost, um, but luckily Johnston saves us. Um, yeah, this keeper, it was just having a worldie. He literally saved all of our shots, and there was nothing much we could do about it. As I'm showing you, the youth academy here: Will Knight, Sam, Curtis, Jesse, Benson, Caleb, Page, and. Lucas Field as we were a point clear with one game to go we had to get the win uh, against Barnsley and Sheffield United had uh, were hosting Fulham on the final day it was a must win game really for the title couldn't draw had to win because I knew Sheffield United would win I think yeah I think I knew Sheffield United would win so we had to come out strong um, against Valerian Ishmael's old team Mauer facing his old team as yeah huge game for our season obviously what it's been a successful season because we've been promoted but I want the league title you know and I think I think this is exactly how I wanted this career to go like I didn't I wanted everything to go to the final day you know I didn't want it to be finished in April you know, we confirmed champions in April. I wanted us, you know, to struggle. We have struggled in this series. We lost to far, five odds of Bournemouth uh, in this series. Um, but we ended up scoring there through Dian Garner and missed a huge chance there from Grant. Um, Barnsley going really close there and couldn't score on the rebound through Corley Woodrow. Um, here was Mauer. Form Barnsley captain, uh, skipping past a couple of players and just firing wide, firing wide 28 minutes in. As yeah, we were the better team going into half time, deserved to, deserved to be ahead. And uh, Robinson fired wide here, 
uh, unlucky there, but this time Dan Garner found Robinson, who would score and double our lead as as the title, yeah, as the title uh, was in our hands. Really, it was in our grasp. Yeah, surely we had the title in the bag. Surely the title was ours. Gavi, yeah, good save, and then Grant on the rebound. Fell to find the back of the net. Uh, Dian Garner finding Gavi. Um, who hit the post here and failed to find the back of the net. It was cleared away from Barnsley. But a Jai score. Don't ask me what the goalkeeper was doing there. Um, but a Jai scoring the goal, a huge goal. I surely the title it was done. And it was um, champions of the championship I'm gonna let this play out for you guys um, but yeah sh successful season huge successful season really happy about this because we've done really well you know it's been challenging at times um, just getting used to FIFA getting used to the game but I think we've done well this season and I can't wait to get to the Premier League I'm excited you know, once we get to the Prem it's going to be an exciting an exciting season um, in the Prem I think our goal next season I think it depends on the money I expect us to get around 30 million um, and then maybe uh, we can survive or finish finish from 17th to 13th that I push is what I'm trying to aim for as um, Bartley would lift the trophy um, I, I, you know what FIFA 22 has been great but what what is he lifting he's lifting nothing he's lifting absolutely nothing um, the FIFA glitch is still there uh, but um champions we are champions in a hugely successful season 3-0 winners over Barnsley which would confirm the title what a season um, Sheffield United took it to the final day with us as those are the teams in the playoffs semi-realistic I feel like the teams that f place where they finished are kind of realistic um, to, to where they are in real life as a grant what a season Mowat was spectacular with goals and assists Robinson had a good season not as good as players like Dean Garner Grant and Mowat still a strong season and the growth in the team I was really impressed with the growth in the team because right now lowest overall 72 with Townsend I believe which isn't too bad we could probably gonna replace Townsend not gonna get rid of him just get maybe a younger better left back and another team in Europe um, but yeah usually successful season like I've been saying sorry I'm repeating myself but yeah really good season everybody performed well it was, there's a couple of players that I didn't use like um, I didn't end up using Zahor just didn't wasn't I'm, I'm just not a fan of Zahor both in real life and game you know in, in real life he just he doesn't look fit to me to, to be playing and I think we should just get rid of him in real life, but he will stick around till January at least. But in the game, I'll probably just sell him on as a Will Knight wanted uh, to go to the first team, and you know he's he's got some good potential and a decent rating. One man though, probably Curtis and Page, Caleb Page, were two men standouts. Curtis probably especially just because he's got such a good rating. Knight who was showing great potential, that's good to see. Uh, and also Curtis had a potential sh tag of showing great potential. We're both we're going to learn them both out. Um, Caleb Page also wanting to be promoted. Caleb Page, on the other hand, had a potential to be special. He's going to be a big player in the future. But that's it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, please subscribe, uh, like, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.